What's good, YouTube? It's Big Rain. I'm here to show y'all the inside center build y'all been asking for. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite build I've made so far. It is just like so extremely dominant in the paint. Uh, it feels super rewarding. Uh, but let's get right into the builder for y'all. Okay, getting into the builder, we're gonna make obviously a center, seven foot tall. We're gonna go 256. Uh, I'll explain that later. We on, we want to do max wingspan because we're an inside. We don't need to shoot the ball or worry about any of that. Uh, you get 84 close shot for paint prodigy silver. You get physical finisher bronze if you put your layup one more after getting the 89 driving dunk. Uh, this gives you Hoff aerial wizard, but it also gives you both of the pro contact dunks for driving dunks. You get 90 standing, which gives you pro and elite contact standing dunks. Uh, you get a decent free throw. 70 free throw is super usable this year. Um, obviously, find your free throw that you like. You get a better break starter on this build. You get gold break starter. And um, eventually, if you hit like vet one or something, you can put it up to maybe 89. I think you get Tyrese and you also get silver versatile. So uh, that's two good things to have right there. Uh, silver paint patroller same as the other build this is really all you need in this game um, I have gold on my first build and it feels the exact same really um, blocks aren't super rewarding in this game but yeah uh, you get 62 perimeter um, you need perimeter to be able to contest shots in this game and uh, it also gives you uh, bronze and movable enforcer which gives you better bumps on the perimeter uh, you got 60 steel, gives you bronze interceptor. This is what really makes the build so dominant right here, though. You get 96 offensive rebound. It gives you Hall of Fame re rebound chaser. Then you use your plus one to get it to legend. And you also have 90 defensive rebounds, so you're not lacking on one or the other. You still have good speed. You got good vertical. But for your first cap breaker... What you're going to want to do, the reason I made this build 256, is put your strength up to 95 with the four points, and it'll give you Hall of Fame brick wall, and obviously you also have more strength. Um, and then I think what I would do is maybe put one on Passac. Um, so for the next time you get cap breakers, you don't really have to um, put it on this besides one point, and then maybe do the rest on like vertical or... At that point, it's really what you want to do because you're not really getting anything from putting it anywhere else. But uh, this build is insane. Um, definitely my f most fun build I've played on so far. Like I said, you literally worm everybody. You get every rebound. You jump through and over everybody. Uh, it feels insane. Um, and I think insides are honestly going to be meta this year because of the fact that you know, you're not shooting 80% from three like you were in prior years on this game. Uh, no matter how good you are. I don't know even a professional that is shooting 80% on this game. So, uh, just being able to be down there and get rebounds for your team is super important. And, you know, when you're on a pop, you're also missing shots. Um, you're not getting a lot of rebounds on offense because you're not in the paint at all times like you would be on this. Um, but, yeah, that's I think that's the pros of having an inside on this game. And... Let's get right into the uh, build comparisons. This is what, when I made this build, I was like, man, it's got Prime, Shaquille O'Neal, Lakers Shaq. Like, I mean, that says everything you need to know about the build. And then the name itself, too, is really cool. Interior Scoring Playmaker. Uh, just, I think that's one of my favorite names I've had so far. The Versatile Enforcer is also really cool, but I, I like this name a lot. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick run through on like my badges and everything. Um, I've been going back and forth between Legend Rebound Chaser and Box Out Beast. Um, Cause if you guys don't know, Box Out Beast uh, is pretty much a worm and obviously your box outs in one badge this year. So um, I've been trying to see if Legend Box Out Beast gives you more. I'm not really too sure if it does. But, I mean, either way, you you can't really go wrong. Um, your build still jumps crazy for rebounds with either. But this is usually what I run with. And then also, I wanted to go ahead and show uh, some dunk animations. It's pretty much the same stuff. Um, you can change the dribble stuff and all that. I haven't really done that yet. 
Uh, someone told me Drew Eubanks was pretty good in the comment section of my animations video. I've been testing that out. Um, shout out to him. And then my dunks are relatively the same. You got all the contacts, all the basic dunks, like the the two-handed hangs and uh, all that good stuff. Athletic one-handers off one. Reverses off one really good. Doesn't ever get blocked. Uh, both the rim pulls under the basket. Two-handed basket. Both the contacts. Uh, got LeBron on this build. Uh, obviously you want to get these, I uh, don't, I don't use Zion because he has crazy animations, but yeah, that's pretty much it, a lot of these aren't really too, too good, um, just because you, you go up slower because you're jumping off two feet instead of just one, so, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this build video, um, I know a lot of people were asking for the inside, so here it is. Um, like I said, it's my favorite build this year so far I've made. It's my third one. And uh, I think I'll be sticking with this one for a while. And, you know, maybe until they change how the game is or something like that. Because they usually do that around this time. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all always show love, and I really appreciate it. If you have any questions in the comments, feel free to comment. I always... Uh, you know, try to reach out to y'all as as good as I can. Y'all leave a lot of comments on my build videos. So uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next one.